What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing the brand new Pokemon who is now the new best attacker in the game, which is Sylveon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel or just new here, make sure you consider subscribing by scrolling down a little bit and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator, everybody who tunes in and watches the videos, everyone who subscribed, and everybody who likes them. It really does go a long way all around. But this Pokemon was just released, and I'm telling you guys, I am telling you guys, buy this Pokemon now while it is broken. It is hands down the best Pokemon in the game. The best attacker. It hits so hard. It is pretty beefy, and it's just all around amazing. Considering it gets his Unite move at level 8, come on. Cannot beat that. It is super, super good. But in today's video, we're going to be doing two battles with this Pokemon, showcasing the best items and the best move set for it. But let's get started with the items. We'll go down to our held items. And for this Pokemon, Buddy Barrier is a must. That's going to be our first item here. Buddy Barrier is an absolute must, considering you get this Unite move. Like I said, super, super early at level 8. There's some battles where I get to use her Unite move like four times. Ridiculous. So Buddy Barrier is a must. Gives you that HP boost and gives you that shield and an ally Pokemon a shield when you use that Unite move. Next item you want is the Wise Glasses. I used my final super item enhancer on this one because I never had the Wise Glasses level up, but it is one of the best items for special attackers. So I was just like, might as well do it. Let's level it up, get it to level 30, and get some uh, item enhancers back. So what this item does is just increase the special attack. It gives us a 7% uh, special attack boost. Then every time you upgrade it, you'll get more special attack boost within it. So pretty awesome, pretty great all around for any special attacker. Final item we're using on this Pokemon, considering this is an offensive build, which I seriously think is the best with this Pokemon. Hits like a truck, can get a lot of kills, and win you guys matches. Final item, like I said, Choice Specs over here. Increases the damage of moves by a minimum of 60 when they hit. The higher the Pokemon's special attack, the more damage it deals. That is amazing. It is great all around. It just makes this Pokemon even more strong and hit even harder. Its little boost benefit is, again, more special attack. So like I said, we're just bulking this thing up, making it hit as hard as it possibly can. But um, let's go over to its uh, actually build and all that. Its moveset, all that good stuff, and, I, and the stars and how it should be. So this thing is a range attacker. Amazing. Yo, dude, I cannot wait to show this off for you guys. It actually came out like 8 p.m. yesterday. So I was playing it all night, testing out, testing out the best moves, best items, all that good stuff. And I'm telling you, I was just dominating. If you did not have a Sylveon on the team and the opponents did, you were losing the battle 10 times out of 10. Like, this thing is insane, bro. It is insane. But let's check it out. I should be able to just click on it and check its... Uh, Oh, yeah, everything's right there. Yeah, everything's right there. I always get confused because they changed the interface a little bit ago. But there's its uh, build. Like I said, there's its uh, items. But it's offense, scoring, and support. That's where all of its stars lie. Endurance and mobility, not really too much. But it's offense. Like I said, it hits really hard. Scoring, it can put up some points. And it is great on support. So, like, how can you have someone who's offensive and support? Pretty crazy. Pretty awesome. But let's go over its moveset. So, it's basic attack. We're not even going to really read the EV one because we're not even worried about that because it evolves in level 4. Like, if you're playing mid lane with this Pokemon, you legit get Sylveon, like, two kills. It's pretty nuts. But, becomes boosted attack with every third attack, dealing increased damage and increases the user's movement speed for a short time when it hits. So, that's really, really good for a boosted basic attack. When your third attack hits and it's boosted, you get a speed boost. So, you can just chase down opponents and keep doing more damage. Let's go over to our next move, or our ability, first of all. Pixelate over here. Every time the Pokemon deals or receives damage, it's special attack and special defense are increased for a short time. So I think that's broken all around right there. Like, come on. Every time this Pokemon uh, deals or receives damage, we're getting an attack buff and a defense buff. This thing's able to soak up shots and hit even harder every time it's in a battle. Every time it is in a battle, which is just nuts. Go over to its first move. So uh, originally, you will learn Swift, which is just like a normal move. You guys already know that. It just shoots stars in rays at the post Pokemon, dealing damage for them. But then this is where it gets complicated. It splits into two. We got Hyper Voice and Mystical Fire. Two very, very good moves. Very, very good moves. And I will tell you my thoughts on which one I think you guys should go for in a second. But we'll start off here with Mystical Fire. Has the user create four small flames while advancing to the designated direction. So this move is actually a dash and an attack mix in one. But the flames shoot towards the opposing Pokemon one by one, dealing damage and decreasing the opposing Pokemon's special attack for a short time. When they hit, each time a flame hits, it reduces the cooldown of the move. Pretty amazing. It's a dash, and then flames will circle around you, and then you're going after opponents, and the flames will shoot at them, and they deal a massive amount of damage. And every time a flame hits, it reduces the cooldown. So chances are, your flames are going to hit, this cooldown is going to go down, and you're just going to constantly be getting flames. So this move is actually very, very good at, like, one-on-ones or taking out Pokemon by yourself. Next move, which is the move I prefer, is Hyper Force. Definitely, 
I think it's the better of the two. They're both really good, but I think Hyper Voice just takes the cake because it is so broken and it can hit multiple enemies, dealing massive amount of damage. And the best part about it is you can move while using this move. So it's kind of like Renin just water striking, where you can move backwards, you can move forward, move sideways, and just use it in a designated direction. But this move unleashes an attack of multiple sound waves that deal damage when they hit. The damage they deal increases the farther the target is away. So the way that this move works is it actually cones out. So it gets bigger, its radius gets bigger at the end, so the farther they're away, the more damage it will do. Every time a sound wave hits, the next sound wave damage increases. So each time it hits, it's doing more damage. So if you get them farther away and you're constantly hitting them, you're just going to multiply and stack your damage and keep doing more. When you upgrade this move to Hyper Voice Plus, it increases the number of sound waves by one. So you just get an extra hit on it, which is amazing. So these both these moves, you really can't go wrong, but in my opinion, Hyper Voice is better of the two. Let's go to our next move, which is starting off with Baby Doll Eyes. It just has the user stare at the opponent, shoots a little thing that deals damage, increases the po opposing Pokemon's attack, and movement speed for a short time when it hits. You won't have that for long. It's just a normal standard basic move. But then it splits out into Draining Kiss and Calm Mind, which are both pretty good, but I think Draining Kiss lacks a little bit. It's pretty cool. It has a user blow a kiss at the opposing Pokemon that goes back and forth between you guys and it hits the Pokemon multiple times. When the kiss touches the user, it restores the HP. So it's basically like an attachment to an opposing Pokemon, so I will shoot it at somebody, and it'll stick to them, and it'll stick to me, and it'll just start sucking their health back and forth. So I'll be taking their health, regenerating, and they'll be losing health. So that's basically all it does. It's nothing too special, but it is pretty good. It is pretty good when you're in a pinch and you need some HP. When you upgrade it, the increase of the, or the amount of HP is increased for the move. So it's pretty good, but again, I think Calm Mind is the better of the two. Calm Mind is a buff right here, and it has the user quietly focuses its mind, and it boosts its special attack and special defense and movement speed for a short period of time. It is amazing. Very, very strong buff, especially when you're using Hyper Voice, considering Hyper Voice is a, uh, it's a, uh, what is it? Cooldown? It's only five seconds. So you're getting that thing constantly. You pair that up with Calm Mind with a special attack boost, it is game over. You're just gonna be able to rip out and just dominate the battle. When you upgrade it one time, only while using this move, if the user is hit by an opposing Pokemon, the damage is nullified and the user is granted a shield. That's pretty crazy. So you can get a shield and you can get a free hit on you. Crazy. This thing is amazing. Very, very strong. Like I said, boosts your attack and paired up with Hyper Voice, you can just, just do a ridiculous amount of damage. Final move I want to showcase is the Unite move right here. Very Frolic. And this might be the only thing that's not too broken, but it is still very strong. It's not like the best Unite move in the game, but I still think it has its purpose and it is really, really strong in this game. But has you used to jump in the air and briefly become invincible. So if you use that at the right time, you can dodge Unite moves. You can dodge all different things. It's pretty, pretty good when you can uh, really time it right. So you because you come invincible and nothing can hit you. The moment the user lands, it deals damage to the opposing Pokemon in the area of effect and restores its own HP. I think that's pretty good. So it jumps up, slams down, does damage all around, and restores HP. So when you're in a pinch, you can get some HP back and kind of get rolling from there. For a short time afterwards, a set percentage of damage dealt by the user is converted into HP for the user. So you're just constantly recovering HP, dealing some damage, and just rolling out from there. So I think it's a pretty strong Unite move. Not the best in the game, but still very, very good and great to use. But that's the build. That is the best items for Sylveon. The best moveset for it. Let's now hop into some master rank battles and showcase this Pokemon live in action. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. We were able to lock Sylveon for battle number one here. I'm actually going to be playing her in the central lane. She can really play anywhere. She really thrives in the central lane and the top lane. I think she can really go anyway. It really doesn't matter for me. It really doesn't matter for me. I just think once you get this Pokemon leveled up, it's going to be broken. But this Pokemon has been so hard to actually get. Just to like grab because everybody is rushing around trying to play her as much as they can. But luckily your boy was quick enough, was able to auto lock her and get rolling out from there. But this Pokemon evolves on level 4, which is super, super easy to get. Like I said, if you're going in the jungle area, the mid lane, it will evolve in like 2 or 3 Pokemon. So you'll just be ready to go and ready to rock out from there. But I cannot wait to show you guys the power of this Pokemon. I'm telling you, it is the best Pokemon right now. Hands down the strongest. If you haven't got your hands on this Pokemon yet, better get on it soon because you can push high ranks with this Pokemon while it is still here because it is definitely going to get a nerf. It is definitely going to get a nerf, but this leads me to the question of the day. What are your overall thoughts on this Pokemon, and do you think this Pokemon needs a balance change? You guys already know my overall thoughts, and yes, I do think this Pokemon needs a balance change. It's just too broken. It is just too good all around. And especially paired up with Blissey. I was actually just playing it all last night. Paired up with Blissey, this thing's amazing. Helping Hand and just Soft Pill, just healing up this Pokemon, giving it a constant attack boost, and rolling out from there. It's really, really strong. So hopefully that Sylveon's not playing bot lane with the Blissey. Could definitely be scary. Could definitely be scary. But dude, this Pokemon, man, I cannot say it enough. Let's just showcase it. Let's just showcase it. 
So I'm going to lock Swift right off the bat because that's a better damage move in my opinion. Hits a couple times. I am just going to take my eject button and throw it straight through this wall here. Let's get it. Built and drop my Swift here. And we'll get rolling here. I feel like this Eevee has a tough time taking out this little pup compared to like Pokemon's like Froakie and all that. But still, we're chilling. Yo, I swear. Yo, did you just take that out? What you mean? I'm the mid lane, bro. Get out of my face. Bro, they really just took that out on for me. Son of a biscuit. I think we might have been leveled up if, if uh, that would have happened. Get out of my face, dude. That is so whack. That is so whack that he just stole that. Out of my face. Let's unlock Hyper Voice right off the bat. Look at this move, guys. Look at this move. Look how much it rips. Look at that. That is against a core fish at level 4. Just melting it. Wait till you guys see the bees, bro. If this thing melts the bees like crazy. I'm just going to hop into this lane. Try to pick up a KO for a squad. Try to pick up a KO for a squad. I'm coming, boys. Let's stay back a little bit. Pikachu getting a nice little KO there. I'm just going to wait for the bees to get my levels up. Yo, we should be thriving. I don't, I don't even think he knows I'm in the bush here. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. I just melted that Pokemon. Watch me melt these bees real quick. Watch how much damage I can do on these bees. Oh, my lord. Bees, see you later. See you later, bees. I'm going to go under tower see if I can score real quick. 25 Pokeballs. I should be able to get this. Yep. I might be able to actually melt you. Come here. The damage output is just nuts. It's just nuts. We are going to get Calm Mind. We are going to get our boost. And we're going to roll out from there. We're just going to roll out from there. Let's see this. I could actually just go after this Eevee right here. Let's see if I can just... I don't have my Hyper Voice. There it is. Look at that damage. Look at that damage, baby. Look at that damage. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous amount of damage. That Machamp or Machoke is actually taking stuff from my jungle. You son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Taking my jungle stuff. I was going to go rotate back and get that, but guess not. I guess not. But for the meantime, that top lane is kind of secured everything. I kind of helped him out drastically. And we're going to be able to roll over to this bot lane and kind of pretty much get thriving here. I'm just farming my jungle area enemies and get my level 7. And I should be able to roll down here and get this Blissey easily. The Calm Mind boost and just run after this thing. There it is. Uh, no, it's actually just dipping back. But look how much damage I can get off of that thing. Can I score my points? Nope. But chill on me. Chill on me, Blissey. Look at this damage, boy. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Got her, yo. Look at that. She's trying to run and get a berry, and I'm coming back and just popping on her, bro. Just absolutely popping on her. I'll calm mind boost. And, dude, the damage on the Aldino. Ridiculous. I already have my Unite move, which is nuts. Drenol is about to spawn, so I'm just going to kind of wait here and try to get Drenol. I might just bush camp. Ooh, we got these guys. But look at that. Yo, look at that. You cannot tell me that's not broken. Instantly done. And I get another one instantly. I don't know if she knows I'm in the bush. I'm going to come after her now. Come here, Blissey. Look at that damage. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. And now I have another Hyper Voice. I'm going to just dip back into her tower. That's easy kill. And I'm going to take out her tower as well and go down there and get Drenol. Like, dude. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. The amount of damage output is just crazy. Look at us melt this Dreadnought instantly. I'll be taking that. And I already have Hyper Voice again. We out of here. We out of here. I'm dipping back to the jungle. I'm going to go get my levels and probably go help out that top lane. Like, this is just too easy. This is just too easy. And you kind of want to, like, back up when you're going into opponents. Considering, uh, like I said, the farther away you are, the more damage you will do. Like, look at us. Dude, the boof lane is just completely melted. Instantly. Instantly melted. Trying to deal damage here. And I might go just chill in that other lane. Or in the bot lane for now. We do have, we're high on levels. We are definitely high on levels. Let's look at our levels compared to them. Yeah. Our team is just thriving on these levels. And they're fighting that bot lane. And I kind of want to get some kills for you guys. I have my Unite move ready to roll. But is this guy pushing him? Come here. Come here, let me tell you something. I'm just going to Unite move here. Pop that. Unite move out and about. Just dealing ridiculous amount of damage. Dealing more damage. Can I get the kill? There's a kill for me. I'm going to buff up here. And try to get after this guy here. And look at that. Yo, we're being held. And we're still doing a ridiculous amount of damage on that thing. Come here. There's a double kill. There's a double kill. I believe the bees spawn again. So I'm going to pop this. And just take out the bees. Get all this XP. Absolutely melted. Absolutely melted. Like instantly, yo. All the bees are gone. Instantly. Instantly. I'm going to try to score if I get up here and get some points off. If I can just sneak this. You going to let me get it? Yep. Thank you. Let's use my buff. See if I can take this thing out. I get another hyper voice. We should be able to. Oh, you lucky. You're lucky you're running away. You're lucky you're running away. I'm going to sneak over here and go to this top lane. If I can pinch these guys. Considering they're pushing up there pretty hard. 
And our team is kind of thriving in that bot lane. I think they can get Dreadnought on their own. And if I can flank from the side, should be easy double kill. Ooh, maybe a triple kill here. Maybe a triple kill here. Let's make it happen. I got my buff ready to go. What these fools want? Come here. Come here. Let's go, Pikachu. Let's take these dudes out. Take these dudes out. No problem. It ain't no problem. Oh, I'm getting ripped. I'm getting ripped. I'm getting ripped. I thought I was going to be able to come in there and roll out there strong. But look at us. 3-3. Three three. We're sitting really well here. Sitting really well here. But, oh, yo, that stinks. That stinks, yo. They're Gibble. Not playing. They're Gibble. Not playing. But that was definitely tough to go up against considering it was two of the best characters in the game. It was Lucario and Sylveon. We ended up still getting all which is huge. And Sylveon is just chilling over here. Which I do have Unite move, so I can knock out with that. I can just deal a ridiculous amount of damage over here onto you. Get him out of here. You're dead. You're gone. Out my game. Dominating, bro. Dude, I'm telling you guys. Buy this Pokemon right now. And here's, uh, who's over here? Sylveon? If I can catch up there. Come here. That's what I thought. Score my points. There's Blissey there, which could be tough. And Blissey is going to ult here. I could also ult here. Which I might do. There we go. We get a kill there, and we're dominating on this Blissey here. I'm gonna ult. I'm gonna ult push these guys back a little bit. Use my buff. They come after Sylveon here. Oh my god, ripping on her. Yeah, get back. That's what I thought. And I kill you inside of there. And I kill you inside of there. What you want? What you want? Get out of here, boy. And I'm gonna score right in your mitt. Oh, there's Lucario. I could have taken out Lucario e easily. Look at this, yo. Absolutely melting these guys. Absolutely just melting this team. The damage output is so crazy. <laughs> it's just crazy. Use my buff here. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. They had the all, but dude, we are just running down the lane with them. Granted, they don't have an extra character, but hey, that's what they get. We are just running these fools out. Just running them out. Usually, I can get more kills with this, but you know, I'm totally fine with just dominating the battle. I'm totally fine with just dominating the battle. Showcase this Pokemon. I feel like I'm showcasing it to the fullest potential right here. I really don't need any more levels. I mean, I could get definitely get level 14. It would be great. So I'm actually just going to take out these and just prepare for Zapdos just so we can like guarantee the win on this match. Even though it should be an instant win. Even if they do get Zapdos considering we probably put up so many points. Look at that dude. Just melting Boofalance instantly. Instantly. The best is when you take out the bees. It's just hilarious. But let's take out that. There's Drenol here. Oh, we could actually take out Drenol. We could actually take out Drenol. Which I might do. Actually, no one's here with me, so... I'm not going to have time to do it. I'm just going to go into this uh, mid lane. Get my next level by taking out a nice little Crawdaunt. Wait, is he over here? Yeah, let me get him. Oh, I didn't get him. Son of a biscuit. Oh, they surrendered. Let's go. They surrendered. That is how it is done. That is how it's done. Let's check out how we did total. I think we went 5-5. Five and five, Right? Not bad. Not bad. With a big win like that. With a big win like that. So guys, I know in the beginning of the video, I said we were going to be doing some rank master tier battles, but in master tier, I just simply cannot get Sylveon. Everybody is rushing around to get her, and it is just a pain in the neck, so I figured I'd go into some standard to bring you guys some battles here, but hey, we are dominating. We dominated that first battle. That was also a standard battle. I forgot to say it, like I said, but we dominated that battle in that jungle. Now we're going to be hopping into that top lane with Sylveon. Same moveset, same items. Let's rock out with it, but this time just in a different lane. We have the Zorora sitting in that mid lane, which I don't mind at all. Zorora is such a good mid laner all around, but dude, Sylveon. Sylveon, Sylveon, Sylveon. Too good. Way too strong. What do we go? 5-5 five and five in that last battle? Which was solid. Which was solid. Definitely could do better. We could definitely do better with this Pokemon. Hopefully we get some more kills in this one. We got the Garchomp on our team. We have the Crustle coming in that top lane with us. I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. But this thing is just a powerhouse. Like, you guys see its moves. Hyper Voice is legit just a beam that melts anything. Like, I love using it up against the combis and the Vesper Queen. Because, like, even at level 4 when I first got it, it was just, like, melting them. Instantly. No problem. Like, I get it if I'm, like, level 15. Just dominating the battle. Like, maxed out just killing the wild enemies instantly but yo at level four taking them out like that and being able to hit them all at once it's crazy because the more damage you deal the more damage it does that's crazy it's just stacks on top of each other so with four wild enemies in there it is just going to keep getting stacks like crazy and just keep dealing a lot of damage but their team's looking pretty solid as well they don't really have a lot of attackers they only have really sylveon 
really bulky though. They are really bulky though. They got the Snorlax, who is really, really good. The little Ninetales, who is very, very good. Sylveon, who could definitely carry. So that's really the only Pokemon I think we should definitely watch out for. But I think we should be thriving here. I think we should be thriving here. Got my little Eevee. Got my Eevee here. Let's rock out with a nice little Swifty. I thought set this Apom. Look at all that. Yes, sir. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Let's go. Me and this Crustle, baby. Me and this Crustle are going to rock out here. Get it. Toss my Swift. I, I The only thing I don't like about Swift is the way it, uh, is the way it kind of, like, shoots out. Because sometimes you'll just be missing wild enemies when they're right in front of your face. It's just the way it shoots out here. And there's both of these guys. I'm just going to dip back and get my wild enemies. Just get leveled up. Because if I can get level 4 here, it could be really, really good. Of course, it goes after that. Oh, well, might be able to take this thing out. And, of course, I missed that. That's rough. I actually might boost up into them. Oh, they already have four up here. They have four up there, which I really don't want to mess with. So, I'm going to dip back, get some HP, and kind of just farm this guy. Let's have, grab a berry. Grab a berry. Grab a berry, buddy. Let's see if I can get this thing. Nope. They already have their, uh... They already have their Sylveon. Look. Oh, yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why is there three here? Why is there three? Chill on me. Why is there three? Just chilling here. Let's hit up on that thing, and that thing is just melting. Push him back a little bit. We are dealing with a good amount of damage. Oh, chill on me. Let me try to escape that thing. Can I hit that? I don't have my eject button. That would have been really nice. I almost have that Sylveon down. Can I hit her with that? Nope. Wasn't able to hit her with that. But we are getting our own Sylveon, which is great. Yo, chill on me. Got to back off a little bit. I need some HP. I'm dead. I'm dead. I should have backed off. Should have totally backed off, but hey, it's all good. It is all good, yo. They had three in that top lane forever. Forever. Didn't deal with it, but I think we're fine. Once I start getting my levels up, should be diving in. I am actually just going to steal this booth lane here. Get my levels up a little bit. Get my levels up just a little bit. And I think our Crustle should be able to defend just fine. As you know, he's Crustle. And Crustle's an absolute monster. Up on that thing and drop this thing. And we're going to be thriving. I'm coming, Crustle. I'm coming, don't worry. And why are they just all chilling here? Let's right, see if I can melt this thing. Yo, get this thing out of my game. Get him out of here. We don't want him here. This Sylveon with the smoke. Come here. If I can smoke up on this thing. Let's see if I can score some points here. Nope. Not able to. Oh my lord. The melting. It is so hard to play up against Sylveon. Even if I am a Sylveon. It is just so good. It is just so good. You guys see it. Like, it's just instantly melting me. Hyper voice is ridiculous. I'm coming. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all good. We thriving here. We got our calm mind. We have our boost. I think that's what she did. I think she boosted herself. We're just bulking up. See if I get rid of you. I should be able to. Get him out of here. There's one. Get him out of my game. We don't want him here. Come here. Let me use my hyper voice on you. Calm mind boost. And take you out. No problem. Calm mind. And just take out the beast. So, there we go. We're right back in this game. Look at all these levels we got. Level 7. Dreadnought did spawn. I'm just going to take out all these core fish and everything. I might try to score here. Because if I can put up these 30 points. Nope. Swine up's there. But still, we can melt. See if he'll let me score here. Nope, I thought maybe you would. Melt, 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 melt. The damage output. Ridiculous. I think I'm going to let them get right now. I think we should be fine in this top lane. I really do think we should be fine. If I just farm up this. I do have my ult after I kill this A-Pom. Which is great, which is just lovely. And, of course, they get it. God dang it. I have my ult ready to rock if I want to drop it. If they push up on me, I'm going to drop it. I'm not afraid to do it. Considering I get it so many times. If I can get rid of you or deal some damage. Get rid of your shield at least. Push you back. Sylveon is definitely scaring me. Got my boost. I'm not afraid to ult. Like I said, I'm not afraid to ult. Come on, get rid of one of them. Can I get rid of two? Do I even need to use my ult? Shut up, yo. Look at that thing. What's it on? One. It's on one. But yo, look at that. We almost just had a 2v1 situation easily. I definitely could have easily had it if I probably would have dropped my calm mind again. Just totally forgot about it. But we're thriving. We are definitely thriving here. We do have that one tower. They're, they are going to score right now. I'm playing top, so I'm just going to go chill over there. Go chill over there. He's trying to score here. Let's see if I can get him. Look at that damage, dude. Calm mind. And I already have my hyper voice ready to go again, so get out of my game, dude. We don't need you here. We don't need you here. Should try to score, honestly. But all this XP is just chilling on the field right now. Just ridiculous. Look at that. I already have Hyper Voice ready to go again. We'll let him get that while I put up 37 points for the squad. There's a Pillow Swine down there. So I'm just going to tackle on after this. Oh, why did I target that thing? I really want to target the Pillow Swine. That's fine. I'm chilling. 
Like I said, I saw my ult. Look at that. Oh my lord, yo. And the damage still hits. I'm ulting right now. We must ult. I'm ulting as well. Take this thing out. Get it out of my game. Get it out of my game, yo. Look at that. That was actually a perfectly timed ult. Really, really good ult. Because we nullified the damage from him because we went invincible. And it was just awesome. It was just awesome. And we were able to take him out. We got a nice little lead rolling here. We're definitely picking up our slack. Still doing a lot of work here. I should just be able to calm mind here and just deal some massive amount of damage for no reason. If I can hit him up again. Look at that. Ridiculous. Just absolutely melting. Just melting. Scoring going invincible, which is great. And use this and just tee off with my hyper voice again, yo. Did you get it so quickly? Like, I almost have it again. I have to eject button out here. Nope. Nope. I'm pushing up too much. I'm pushing up too much. That's what I do when I'm a top laner. I usually play mid as much as I possibly can because I really like to control the battle. So when I'm playing top lane, I don't have as much HP as I normally do. Or I'm not hitting as hard as I normally like do. So that's why I'm always getting like caught there. But still, I think we're playing fine. Deaths really don't matter in this game. We're 6-1. and one. Use this. And just tee off on all you guys. Later, Snorlax. I wish I had my ult here. It would be very, very lovely. And here comes our team here. There's another kill. Can I get another one? A combine boost. Lovely, yo. Garchomp's team. If I can put up 17 points, just take out the tower. You know, I'm low HP. We're still thriving. We should go down there and get that Dreadnought. We should go down and get that Dreadnought. I'm gonna go for it, unless that Sylveon is going to get it very soon. Nope, Sylveon got it. It's totally fine. They can have Dreadnought. They can have Dreadnought all day. I wanna see who... the same one have more kills? Dirt Sylveon has more kills than me. Son of a biscuit! One Pokemon I don't want having a lot of kills. Yo, come here, Snorlax. Let me calm mine here. Let me calm mine. Use that. And look at that. Look at that lovely amount of damage. Can I get one more? I'm gonna check button back here. And then take you out. Thank you. Get out of my game, please. Get out of my game. We don't need you here. Corefish, come here, buddy. And here comes their mammoth swine. Where are you at, buddy? He did all. I'm just gonna tee off on him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. We don't need him here. Come here, and little nine tells you're dead. And we're gonna be able to get this thing. Let me get this thing. Come here, slow bro. Get him out of here. Oh, he took my kill, bro. I was ripping on that thing. So actually probably defending. Well, two of them are actually defending. I'm gonna ult here. Take you out. Follow up with you. And come over here. Calm mind boost. I think there's Sylveon might have ulted as well, but look at that, baby. He's ulting now. I have to pop this. Jeez, bro. I might die. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> Zora, get him out of here, yo. Sylveon's so hard to play up against. She was one level higher than me, so it was tough to kill her. But hey, yo, it's a battle of the Sylveons here. And my team's winning, yo. My team is winning right now. But you guys already know, it always comes down to Zapdos. I used my ult. She ended up using her ult, so that's good. She won't have it chilling there. Zora, you can let him score there. It's really not a big deal. It is really not the big deal. But what I want to do before Zapdos spawns is actually head down to this bot lane right here. And take out this Ludicolo. Just get some more XP and maybe get level 14. That can be very, very good for us. Let's walk backwards. We got the lead, but again, it always comes down to Zapdos. It always comes down to Zapdos. I'm going to take this thing out. I'm going to hop over to this mid lane. Be ready to fight. Just be ready to fight. Can we get that thing? Can we get the Sylveon? Get her out of here. Come on, Charizard. Charizard, you have that. Oh, Charizard, you had that all day. Got a combine. I got the back a little bit. Got the Snorlax. Okay, cool. I really wish I had my ult here. Oh, they're about to take this thing out. Oh, he's freezing me. I'm going to boost my special defense here. And I'm just going to go right in here. Did I get that? We did get it. Let's go, yo. Sneaking that Sylveon here. Yo, chill on me, man. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Someone go score. Zora, go score some points. Crustle, go score some points. What are you doing? Stop fighting the Aldino. Go score some points. It's wide open. Thank you. Yo, Zora, you want to go down there and score? Where you at, Zora? Is he in the bush? Oh, no, there you are. Bro, You're score some fire. points. Crustle, hop over there. They're going to score some points here. If our Zora can score this, this pretty much solidifies the match. And, of course, he doesn't get it in time. I'm just going to have to play defense here. This one's going to be close. I think we still have this win. I'm just going to chill here and play some defense. I'm going to play some defense because I got to win this match. I got to win this match. Even though I died a lot, I still feel like we played really good with 11 kills. Like, that's how you know this Pokemon's broken. Dying that much and still winning the battle. Nuts. We're still putting up 11 kills. Like, come on, man. Come on, this Pokemon. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's keep grinding here. Let's see what we can do. 
just waiting. I'm just waiting on defense. I really don't want to leave this lane too much. I wonder where they're coming from. I might just chill in this bush and wait for them to fly in over here. Wait, wait for that. Here comes Sylveon. I'm going to ult here. Pop down on her. Yo, Sylveon, you want the smoke, buddy? How much damage, bro. Get him out of here. Can I kill this thing? Oh, they're all here. <laughs> they're all here. But yo, GG's. That should be a win for us. Right? Two wins. Two battles, two wins. Absolutely dominated with Sylveon in that mid lane and in that top lane. We had more kills in our top lane, but don't really matter. It don't really matter. I feel like that this battle right here, I played great, but definitely could have went less deaths. But hey, we take those all day. We take those all day. Most kills on the team. Not most kills in the lobby, considering their Sylveon had 18. Their Sylveon out, out Sylveon me. But hey, my team won, so I got the out Sylveon trophy. That is awesome. But back-to-back -back wins. Got to showcase Sylveon, the best new Pokemon in the game. The best held items for this Pokemon. And the best moveset. If you guys have 10,000 coins right now, buy Sylveon. I'm telling you guys, this Pokemon is going to be insane until it is nerfed. There's absolutely broken, as you guys can see right there. Every team's using it. If you don't have one on your team, you are definitely going to lose. But that combo of Calm Mind and Hyper Voice just does a ridiculous amount of damage and can take out multiple Pokemon at once. You can like 1v3 Pokemon. It is crazy. And then if you have that ult on the side that regenerates really, really quick and you get it early at level 8, you can just totally crush the battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.